Gifts to our churches often yield their blessings decades after they are made. Under the terms of two irrevocable trusts established more than a half century ago, the dioceses of Central, Southeast, and Southwest Florida each recently received a $1.5 million bequest from a trust established by George H. Work and his wife, Julia B. Work, heirs to a business fortune founded in the 1800s on soap, candles, and wine. Originally from Cincinnati, George and Julia Work had a home on Miami Beach and were members of All Souls Episcopal Church, where they worshipped regularly. George was a successful physician and businessman in Ohio and an equally astute steward of his inheritance. His grandfather, Michael Work, is best known for his innovations in the processing of lard to make tallow candles and soaps during the mid-19th century. Michael Work was an immigrant from Germany who had started his soap and candle factory in Cincinnati in 1832. He applied state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques that he had learned in Europe, and he also held several industrial patents of his own. In addition to soap and candles, Michael Work was active in horticulture, especially grape farming and winemaking. His children, their families, and their descendants also were civic and business leaders in Ohio. Grandson George H. Work established an irrevocable charitable trust in 1954, and his wife, Julia B. Work, created another in 1964. Their children, George B. and Alice R. Work, were the initial beneficiaries of the income from the two trusts. The Episcopal Diocese of South Florida, now divided into our three dioceses, was named a remainder beneficiary upon the death of the children. Alice died in 1995, and George B. died in 2013. My name is Jim Murphy. I'm the Managing Program Director for Financial Resources at the Episcopal Church Foundation. The Episcopal Church Foundation works with all dioceses, all parishes and churches across the country, as well as all Episcopal organizations, including schools and camp and conference centers and all other types of Episcopal entities. The Episcopal Church Foundation has tremendous resources that we make available for free or for very low cost. Some of the easiest ways to get educated would be to listen to one of our free webinars. We have live webinars. We also have recorded webinars on our leadership website, ecfvp, for vitalpractices.org. All of our webinars are recorded there and you can play them at any time. In addition, there are tremendous resources you can find on our websites from booklets and brochures that help people begin to plan their estate to just learning the basics about plant giving. And just remember, regardless of the type of gift that someone eventually chooses, it's all from the same emotion of wanting to participate in the future mission and ministry of your congregation. So I encourage you to help people to be able to express the reasons why they chose to make their gift. They won't talk about any tax advantages, They'll talk about the life-giving ministry of your congregation and how they wish to have that last into the future.